Welcome to the show. It's Club Corby for the 12th of May 2020. And somehow we're still working on this. I can't believe it. Um. Yeah, I, d I did uh, some more work last night, burning the midnight oil. I'm happy to say that uh, I'm a bit more well rested than I was uh, yesterday. As you might recall from yesterday's stream, I was really exhausted from uh, working too hard at, uh, at the weekend. So, feeling a bit better today, but somehow, despite... Uh, Chipping away at this page for a couple more hours last night, it's still not quite done. Um, so on today's stream, we're going to finish fixing up this uh, third panel. And then we might do a little bit of work on the fourth. I don't think there's an awful lot to do, just there's some minor things there that are bugging me. But uh, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know how long we're going to need to finish all of this. Once we're done with the art, we'll let it all. And then uh, strip number 10 will be complete. So, today's show might go a bit shorter than usual, might be a bit longer. Uh, difficult to say, so we'll just begin. Uh, first of all, I don't know what this is. That's a bit strange. This nose feels like it's a bit off center to me. Uh, spent. Mm. Excuse me. Oh, uh, something a bit through it there. I did spend a bit of time last night uh, just completely redrawing uh, knee main space here. In fact, knee main space pretty much was to be done up the bottom. I think I just blanked the whole pen drawing out. Maxine's whole entire head got to be done. Uh, Josie's face is largely a redo. Ruby was a bit more salvageable, but not by much. So again, it's kind of like kind of like what I've been talking about on recent streams in terms of. The, uh, the, these uh, smaller faces uh, are really difficult to get the likenesses right and really difficult to get them to look good, especially when you go from the pen pencil stage to the ink stage, for me anyway. Uh, it's really been a challenge. When we are doing inking, I always find myself saying, "If something goes wrong, we'll fix it uh, at, the, at the you know at the digital stage once we scan it," and that's true. <laughs> what I didn't want to do was spend you know two hours plus last night fixing up all these tiny images to get them the way that I wanted them, but. I don't want to be too negative today because we're now almost at the finish line with this. Fixed up my uh oh, there it goes. Oh, 
I was going to say I fixed up my uh, tool setup in Club Studio Paint last night as well. Uh, some of my tools were all over the place and became confusing, so everything's a bit closer now to the default layout, I think. isn't much left to do here with Nimi and I think she's about as good as she's gonna get. At this scale. But the original Hanner for her, her face was. She had these giant bug eyes, and I knew right away as soon as I started work on this page. As uh, once I scanned it, I said, "Okay, that's going to be that's going to be an extensive fix," and it was. We'll go on and we'll start to work on Maka and then she'll be the last one and then we'll add in I don't know if you want to say an extensive fact, but we're gonna add something to fill out the rest of the detail in this pile because obviously the rest of it's just blank space but and uh, the the blank part at the bottom is where the text is going to go but we want to pick things up as well and have some other things going on there. thing we need to do is start to sharpen up the face a little bit.
What if the eyes is a little bit higher than the other? We pulled in the guideline, we can see that it starts to way up at the top there and ends a bit too high as well, so we can drag that down. This is actually uh, not particularly on model as far as that Maca's hair goes because it's supposed to be it's kind of like a pair of curls that comes down in the center. large chunks of the hair.
Okay, that's a little bit closer. We're not necessarily going to get it exactly right, but... Again, at this sort of scale... Uh, at this sort of scale... This is what I'm looking for to see. What am I trying to say here? But at this sort of scale, hyper accuracy isn't really as big a deal. We're not doing this as like a pinup image or something like that where we would want it to be exactly correct. We're, we're trying to do the best that we can within a reasonable a reasonable time frame. Can you tell my brain's not all the way there yet? That uh, I probably haven't still recovered from the weekend. I think all this hard work has given me brain damage. Um okay. I hate that uh, anti-aliasing that it does there when I transform uh, aspects of the image, so I'm just going to go over that, actually.
what you do, we just smooth things out. Okay,
Ah, okay. As far as I'm concerned, the character art for this piece is... It's done where it, it's close enough to done. Uh, I'm going to save. And then what we're going to do is just finish the right to file. Okay, we're going to add a new layer. And okay, I don't want any effects like that. Um, Exactly the right sort of uh, pen effect that I want. Something like that, maybe too. I feel like what's actually going on here is our characters are a bit off center, so just move it over it a little bit. Maxine's hair could use a bit of a fixing up. It's a bit thinner on one side than it is on the other, but <sighs> maybe we'll come back to that. But anyway, come back up to our background layer and we'll move that one over a bit.
Uh, they end up with some lighter spots that are going to be in the outermost corners. I don't want any of that in there, so I'm just going to lightly go over the corners. I 
Okay, not a huge deal, and probably it's going to be a case that you need to really zoom in to even see these sorts of... Uh, lighter areas that are running up against the borders, but... I want the dark elements of the image to all be in the corners and the light to be in the center of the image. So uh, it's not perfect, but it's roughly in line with what my sort of uh, original vision of the panel was when I was penciling it and then when I was inking it. Uh, we're trying to replicate that and now we're at sort of the, the third stage which is uh, where we've just recreated it using uh, the tools in Club Studio Paint. So what we wouldn't do is fill all this in by hand with ink uh, because it would just be a waste of ink. If I have uh, areas like that that I know are going to be large, uh, you know, elements of the page that are going to be uh, just uh, pure black, then there's, there's very little point in filling that uh, in by hand. It's, it's just a waste of time and of ink, so it's wasting your time and money. I think I'd like it better like that actually. Sometimes you're you're trying to fix something and uh, you're not actually making it better, you're just making it worse. So uh, I'll just leave it there uh, as far as Maxime goes, that'll do. Um, so let's move on. This is the last panel. We've done ten pages, 
four panels a piece. And if you know your math, that is 40 panels, four zero panels that we've done for this series. Uh, and here we are at the last one. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start with some light corrections. I think the winds just do smooth them out a little bit, and, and uh, correct any errors along the way. I have to say, over the last day or so, uh, I've been thinking about, uh, you know, what the what our next steps are going to be in terms of what the next Corby project is going to be. And as you may know, I. The way that I was heading was, I was thinking that uh, all future stories might be done in this sort of format where we might just transition and Corby might just become uh, a daily comic strip rather than a series of comic books. And I don't know, I'm starting to have second thoughts about it because I feel like we go down that road, we can't ever stop. It's like uh, there's no there's no real room for stopping or, or catching our breath. In theory, it would be much more uh, efficient way of doing things that we can sort of produce the comic in a very minimal fashion but I, uh, I just don't know I, I, I see benefits to it but I also see uh, potential hazards so um, I'd be curious to hear what you the readers and the viewers in the case of the streams. What you would like to see, do you want to see more, sort of, would you like to see more Kirby stories as standard comics or you know comic books, full length comic books or would you prefer that sort of uh, almost like a sort of a drip feed format where you get a little bit of story every single day Because I'm kind of of two minds of it myself. I don't know which way is the best way for us to go. Of course, if we do the daily format, we can always compile these into full-length comic books later. It, but it's definitely going to affect sort of the the format of it. Whatever we end up doing, I can't see me doing any any more color Kirby stories in the foreseeable future because the the, the sad truth of the matter is that I have to lighten my load in terms of this whole thing of 
you know, being a one-man band and handling every aspect of the comic myself and since you know, Kirby isn't a going concern financially, I mean it isn't uh, financially viable as a business at this point, I can't justify the expense of hiring somebody else to colour the comic, so. So you can see all of this is sort of weighing heavily on my mind at this point because I have to make a decision soon about what we're going to do next. Might just uh, wipe this whole line out because I'm not entirely happy with uh, the, the shape of that.
Here we go. That was... Get rid of this all. Okay, the excess at the bottom. That's kind of annoying, but I'm trying to make sure that... Both of the wings... So th there's an element of symmetry in the wings at the end. So that... You know, the, the top part uh, hits in about the same place, that's so it's about even, and also that the two wings sort of swoop down in the same sort of way. This one's still a little bit, uh, a little bit thick. This one is a little bit thin. Just uh, thicken that one up a bit. Okay, this is the the elephant in the room as far as I'm concerned is this hand here because I don't know what I was thinking when I decided on this pose because either it looks like Corby is scratching herself or it looks like she's like playing air guitar or something and I can't stand it so if I don't fix it I'm never going to forgive myself so we're just going to get rid of this. Look at this whole set of fingers entirely. I'm gonna redraw this uh, hand. We'll, we'll just turn it into a fist, and then she'll have like, two. She'll have two balled up fists, basically, and. I can work with that. We're gonna look a bit sloppy if I can look a bit more. Do what we always do and we'll just sort of refine them as we go. Undersized, perhaps.
Okay, that I can improve. I think that looks a lot better. And then we can start to uh, add in a lot of the surrounding detail that we've erased as well. We're gonna. a little bit of white around it just to keep everything clear. Never first. Kind of has uh, a different problem, which is I don't feel like it's very clear. I could use a bit more white to highlight this too.
I think it actually looks better like that. Sometimes less is more uh, just a little bit of uh, detailing there just to keep the details of the fist sort of uh, visible. It's better than using an excessive amount of black which is just gonna make things unclear I think so. Let's continue. Oh yeah, that was the other thing that I noticed was the thigh was way thicker than the other and it was a bit odd. I don't know what happened. Let's just pull that out a bit. That looks a bit better. I'm not sure what that what happened there. Anyway. As you know sometimes I spot things that need to be corrected and then it sort of goes on a mental to-do list of things I've got to fix and you know usually I get around to them sometimes there's something like that that I almost miss The uh, sort of neck part of the armor uh, is a bit off to one side, which is a bit strange. See, at first glance, I thought this panel was. Uh, Relatively straightforward as far as I didn't think I'd have to make a lot of corrections compared to the other ones. It's a fairly simple panel, it's just a picture of Kirby who I draw all the time. So I know all the little details and there wasn't much scope for error. And yeah, compared to the other panels, it's true, there aren't as many mistakes in here, but there are a lot of little things that I've got to fix.
we just uh, yeah, it's tiny little things that uh, could be done better, and also there's a bit of good to cover in terms of things that we need to clean up a bit, like uh, the usual thing with some of this ink has uh, has some spots in it where the pen hasn't. It hasn't uh, fully covered the page as far as the ink goes.
So we're just going to connect that to you. Just so that it lines up so that the chest component and the bits at there, the spikes uh, all line up. Just using the line tool here, just to refine everything. Just go back and forth with white and black lines until everything has a nice, pleasant shape and a clean look to it. File away the uh, rough edges. Um, let's see, oh, still got a couple of lines there to fix up, okay. Yeah, that's no good because... Ideally, this line would, uh, line up with... Wing sections as well.
Uh, I'm just a little bit more shaded in here, I think. Leave a tiny little white light there just to retain some of the detail, not uh, have everything run together a little bit too much. But that mostly works. Uh, Yet. It's going to need a bit of uh, connection, no doubt they always do.
Much more now. I can't hold on to everything I don't know what to say. That is a rare case of me uh, making some of the facial detail, uh, facial elements there too small rather than too big.
that's actually at least the second time that's happened on this page. So I don't know if perhaps it's something where I've become so conscious of the fact that I usually do everybody a bit too sort of bug-eyed and off-model in that sense. And maybe I'm really starting to get to the point where I'm compensating a bit too hard for that. I don't know what happened to this spike here, it looks like it's getting, it's been cut off a little bit. So, add that back in. the canvas accidentally which is a real good way to mess things up and then end up having to make a lot of corrections later so let's avoid that
Oh, okay. I think that's it. I think we're done with our corrections on the art. So, first thing we do right away is we're going to save that. Oh, 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 oh. There was one other thing that I wanted to fix. One teeny tiny little thing, and it's probably something that nobody's ever going to see anyway because I think the text is going to correct it, but this was bugging me. So. The left shirt tail is a bit thicker and larger than the right one. And I'm like 95% sure that that's not going to be visible once we... What is this place? Uh, add the letter again. Just in case, we'll thin it down a little. See, this is what I'm almost talking about. Whenever I think I'm done, I remember that there was always something else that I wanted to, that I had in my list of uh, corrections to make. here. Fix that line up a little bit. There we go. Right. Save again. And now we're going to do the lettering and it's the very last task that we need to do in any of these 10 pages, 40 panels that we've done is to just add the letters. There's a lettering, I should say. I added a, a test uh, or a sort of a dummy text layer here to save us some time. That is set up with the correct typeface settings. What is this place? What we're going to do is copy in the text for the first panel. element where the table was pretty well. See I gave this stuff some thought. That wasn't just uh, I wasn't just winging it when I added in that sort of dead space with the table there I knew that uh, that was where the caption was going to go. Sometimes that doesn't work out as well as you want it to but once in a while like that it, you know you get just about I didn't have to make any edits to the text to make it fit or anything like that. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Or at least it looks that way. Still got a little bit of work to do.
this one. I can uh, tweak this a little bit. Further issues. When you make this too tall, it's going to obscure more of the text. So we might need to. Yeah, see, that's going to block off more of the. a little bit better. We could maybe Ah that's better still. We can get each line to sort of uh, be a bit more balanced. That's even better. Um Surprise, as the sun begins to rise, 
It's almost 4 o'clock and normally this is where we would end the stream but you know we're so close to finishing this off I think we should keep going Start you. Start in the uh, caption boxes.
Well, maybe a little bit big. Let's chop that down a bit. to worry about getting these exactly perfect at this stage. Oh, it's locking up. Uh, we don't have to worry about getting these exactly perfect at this stage. Just All we have to do is uh, make sure we've got enough real estate that we have made allowances for the panel border. I'm giving the text enough breathing room. And then we can move things around, we can reshape the, the caption boxes later if need be. until we fill in the actual interior part but we'll do that afterwards mm -hmm. next at the very bottom and we'll just leave that captionless because we don't want it to look like it's one of Aaron Mesa's innovation uh, uh, captions that's separate, so we'll, we'll leave that one unboxed. Um, so now that we've done that, we take a magic wand. A couple of different ways of doing this, but this is how we'll do it today. Take a magic wand, select all the boxes. Go to select, shrink selected area, and this is quite a high res image that we've scanned, so I'm going to shrink it down by 50 pixels. And then I'm going to keep these layers separate for now. <laughs> so I'm saving. Uh, why why'd you have to do this to me? Come on, we're so close to being done. Uh, you guys can't see it when it goes to auto save, but I get this blue progress bar that goes across the screen. And it just pauses everything. It actually slows me down quite a bit. Or at least it feels like it slows me down quite a bit. And then we use a fill tool. On a separate layer and... So now we have... The black border is actually the black fills that we did originally and then we've shrunk down our selections and made the smaller white boxes that make the interior part. There are multiple ways of creating caption boxes like that in Clip Studio Paint but this is my preferred method at least at the moment. And then I can go back to the black layer that's the borders, duplicate that go down to move layer and just use the arrows to move that down and to the right a bit and that creates the, sort of the drop shadow effect what I'm going to do now is Turn all the other layers off. Um, and in fact, we'll turn the text off as well. Let's 
are fairly happy with how the shapes of these look. Turn everything else off and we can just go and merge visible layers. boxes that we can mess around with and adjust. We've actually got quite a few layers now on this page, more than we usually have to work with. One of the reasons that I want to do that just so that I can go in and just the placement of the boxes and the text on each of these and get them exactly where I want it to be so it's bit of a uh, breathing room on either side of the panel there you know there's a bit of panel showing at the bottom a bit on the sides and within the actual caption box it's fairly well balanced as well what I don't want is something like this where we have just this tiny little border at the bottom I'd better avoid that if I can and I also don't want what's happened with the text here which is the text that is developing down a little bit and isn't quite centered. So going back to the caption box, we'll move that up and then we'll text as well. Might take a second to respond. A bit of a grammar or grammatical no no there in terms of starting a sentence with and, but you know, sometimes you bend the rules or just outright break them for dramatic effect. This one we can move up just a little bit. Two bit there. Again, I'm gonna leave a little bit of breathing room. Move the text. S's. There's a lot of S's in it, but according to the spell check, that's correct. <laughs> I'd have you second guessing, it almost looks like there's at least one S too many in there, but that is fine. I almost wonder if.
kind of only an eye here because the one on the top caption feels off as a little bit longer. In actual fact, it isn't, it just. Uh, it's to be moved a little bit. Huge deal. You know how I am as an artist. If you watch Club Kirby regularly, you know that I get really fiddly and uh, spend a lot of time obsessing over tiny details because I want everything to be just right. I don't want to have to look at the comics in the future and think that I did a lousy job or that I. You know, it was uh, I didn't do the best I could have, and I also want you, as the reader, to get the best possible sort of experience. You know, when you're reading the comic, I want this to be a high quality product, high quality experience. Um then in this panel I'm kind of okay with leaving this fairly tight in the corner because I don't want to obscure too much of the of the art. Guys we've done it. Guys and girls and everyone else. All the members of the club. We're at the finish line. It's taken us a long time <laughs> to do what is basically 10 days worth of content. That, that's the real tragedy of it all is that uh, in like uh, a week and a half uh, this would all be gone and forgotten again. In terms of if we started it on a Monday then well, not a week and a half, two weeks. It's ten weekdays of content, but yeah, within the space of two weeks, this will all go online and then it'll be forgotten. This, however long we've spent on this, six weeks at least. Okay, we've got one more thing to do. One, one more little thing I'd like to do to tweak this is go to the caption boxes and we're gonna cut this stick it on a separate layer and we're gonna overlap that Join us on Monday for a new Kirby adventure. That's a little bit optimistic, don't you think? That we're gonna have managed to keep this going beyond the first 10 comics. So don't be surprised if by the time this shows up, it's, uh, that's not gonna be the case. <sighs> okay. Sigh of relief as I hit save. And the whole thing blacks out on me. Don't. Please don't force close. Writing to file, there we go. That's it, that is strip number 10 of 10 in this first series. 
what, maybe the first series or maybe the only ever series of daily Kirby comic strips that recaps uh, Kevin's adventures as Kirby so far. So, how long over did we go? We went about 17 minutes over our normal um, running time today. What are we going to do tomorrow? Uh, I think I'm going to... Well, I've been threatening it, but I think I'll dig out some more, some old artwork and we'll do some colouring on stream or something. Uh, and what we'll do on Thursday and Friday is anybody's guess. But I want to thank you for watching today and staying with me on this slightly extended edition of Club Corby. Uh, time for celebration, I think. The set is over. I'm so glad I'm just... So tired still. Not as tired as yesterday, but uh, still, you know, it's 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 taken its toll on me. And I don't know what comes next, but I'm looking forward to switching gears, and we'll we'll try something different. And for now, this series is going to go into the can in the vault or something. I don't know when we're going to actually post these online. That's to be determined. There's a lot uh, about the future of Kirby that uh, is, is to be determined at this point. And if you have any ideas about what, what you'd like to see, if you want to see uh, full length comic books, or you, you'd like to see you know the daily strips like this continue to be a thing beyond this first set of 10, let me know. Uh, as always, I always welcome your comments in chat or talk to me on Twitter or Instagram or YouTube comments, wherever, and uh, and I would like to hear from you, members of the club. Anyway, we will be back tomorrow uh, on Club Kirby uh, to... Do something yet to be determined. I don't know what it's going to be, but uh, I hope.